Alrighty, welcome back to Water Meter Chap. Uh, doing something a little bit different. I'm gonna crack open a Bud Light here. You know. Oh, I figured I'd try something new. <clears throat> Normally, I'm not a beer drinker, and um, you know what? I'm still not because that's a Mountain Dew that I just had. So, whatever. Huh. Not sure where I gotta go or what do I gotta what do I gotta do here. It's like the only time that maybe a hint would be useful. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Oh, here we go. Doi. Oh. What? <laughs> oh, it was just there the whole time. <laughs> okay. Whatever. I found it. I did it. I did the thing. Well, you know what? Stop, stop, stop. I'm gonna I'll come back for that. If they don't trigger it, I'll come back for it. Jeez mom, if you're gonna stomp, go outside and do it. Alright. I wanna try and maintain I wanna try and maintain like a low profile, you know? Why don't you go check it out, man? <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. It's freaking beautiful, dude. All right, here we go. <laughs> hey, man. That's too fun. That's too fun, dude. Come up on me, guys. Come up on me. <laughs> I don't use the, the explosive arrows all that much, so I might as well fucking use them. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's some funny shit right there. Yeah, come flank me, dudes. So I got some stragglers. Huh? Is anybody still alive? Stomp, 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 stomp. Right, I'll take that. Oh, there's somebody. Let's see when that there just says insurance. Probably should put it close, like over here more, but fuck it. Come around the other way. Watch out. <laughs> oh 
my god. Huh? Oh, there's so much blood. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm just fucking toying with him at this point. <laughs> like, oh no. <laughs> Oh god, I love it. Stop fucking stomping, oh my god. <laughs> it just never ends. The stomping, the water meter, the dishes, the dog, none of it stops. It is just an endless fucking loop. Ah. <sighs> This is a, I, you know, I tried to be professional. <laughs> I try, I try very hard. Oh no, forgot about this guy. <laughs> what is left of him? <laughs> That is like the perfect. <laughs> that should have been promotional art for the game. It's just that fucking set of legs just sitting there. <laughs> oh god, it's so good. <laughs> oh man. Are explosive arrows even a thing in real life? Like, could you do that? Is that a thing? I don't know. It must be, right? Ugh. God. Oh, nobody ambushes me. So like the dramatic conclusion of the game is going to happen and the water meter is going to be running the entire time. It's going to be great. I'm going to have to cut most of my audio just so it doesn't annoy the piss out of everyone. Okay. Sorry, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, that door. Who the fuck are you? Try to escape. She's down in the pillars. The pillars? Head down to the beach. You won't miss it. Here we go. She's probably already dead. Come on. Oh shit! She probably opened that wound up, dude. Yeah, she's bleeding. I'm beginning to think Ellie's gonna fucking die at the end of this game, dude. gonna die because a fucking stupid thing on a tree cut her open like how dumb is 
Spooky. First I had to come in and fuck everything up. Alright, come on. Dog's gonna jump up on my bed. She's gonna start barking at something. They're doing this on purpose. This is... It's gonna jump out of me or some shit. Oh, the pillars. Holy. Abby. I see a braid. Yeah, tell me she's dead already. <laughs> yes. Yeah, dude. Give me a gun. Give me a gun. <laughs> okay. I guess. I mean, Ellie's hurt too, you know. Let's have a fucking duel. Like, let's heal up. Get some food in us and stuff, and then have a fucking duel. Tell me she dies before we do anything. Like Abby, I mean. We're just going to go our separate ways now. I wouldn't take that off if I were you, but...
<laughs> oh no. That fucking music. It's the way that kicks in. Like, alright, okay. <sighs> I can't let you leave. I'm not doing this. God, Ellie. He's not a part of this. You made him a part of this. Fucking love's gonna wake up and fucking shank Ellie, dude. Okay. Okay. That's not even fair. You got a knife. She don't have a knife. Alright. It's kind of like an Uncharted fight. At the end of a game. Get rid of the fucking knife, Ellie. You're cheating. She's gonna grab a gun. No! No! Lev's gonna fucking shoot Ellie, dude. I'm calling it. Where's Lev? Lev's not in there. I'm saying. I'm saying I would have fucking Lev's not in the boat, dude. Lev's shooting Ellie at the end of this. I'm calling it. This is a pretty sweet fight, though. I like it. It's like these two people who are just completely fucking broken at this point. Lad's gonna shoot her. Lad's gonna shoot her, man. So what's gonna happen? I'm just smashing the button just for when I have to. Damn, son. Where's Lev? Where is Lev? That's what I'm concerned about. Lev is gonna get her, dude.
Are you going to call it a truce now? Like, okay, we're even. <laughs> Wow. Tell me that other boat, that's the beginning, and that's the fucking... <laughs> Lev wasn't in there, dude, I'm telling you. It wasn't in there. On oh, that boat, like, at the on the side, that's literally the ending of the game, is the title screen. <laughs> episode sponsored by Mountain Dew. <laughs> Got the Liberty Brew. Oh. Oh. Water meter's gonna come right back for the ending of the game. It's been throughout the whole series. Oh, maybe it stopped. Yep, of course the water meter will be there for the ending. Here we go. Yes, everybody make as much noise. Just come down here and start screaming. Uh, I don't know, is it just me or does this house look kind of empty? I don't know. Is the ending of the game her playing the guitar? I mean, Nelly, you did turn your back on, on like a good life, you know? You're playing the guitar, that's the fucking end of the game, dude. She lost her fingers. That sucks, dude.
you drinking? Coffee. Where'd you get that? People that came through last week. Oh. A little embarrassed as to what I had to trade to get it, but it's not bad. I had Seth under control. And you need to stop harassing Jesse about my patrols. Okay. Uh, Dina. Is she your girlfriend? No. <laughs> no, she... That was just one kiss. It doesn't mean anything. She just... I don't know why she did that. But you do like her. <sighs> so stupid. I have no idea what that girl's intentions are, but... But I do know that she would be lucky to have you. You're such an asshole. I'm not trying to. I was supposed to die in that hospital. My life would have fucking mattered. But you took that from me. Somehow, the Lord gave me a second chance at that moment. I would do it all over again. I don't think I can ever forgive you for that. But I would like to try. I'd like that.
Damn, son. I'm gonna have to sit with that one for a bit, but shit. Well, there you have it folks that's my first time playing through the last of us 2 man for everybody complaining about the writing i i actually thought the writing was really good yeah and then, like again just because something that you don't like happens doesn't mean the writing's bad <laughs> that's some poignant shit though man fuck i don't know Man, and so much of it like kind of really ties together, I think, you know? And it's, I don't know, I feel like she kind of, I don't know, there's like a parallel between like Ellie kind of following down this path, you know, of revenge. Um, it kind of mirrors a little bit of what Joel did because it's just like the most supreme selfish thing, you know? Like supreme selfishness, you know? Uh, and it ruined her relationships with everybody, you know? And it's like, it's crazy. Oh, Neil Druckmann's vice president? I didn't know that. <sighs> I thought, <clears throat> I thought the game overall was really good. Very, very well done. Um, I don't know if I'd go as far as to say that it's better than the first one overall, as an overall package. Um, but I mean, it's right up there. Like, it's not, in my mind, it's not far off from the first one in terms of quality and storytelling and everything. Um, yeah. That's, oh man. That last scene with Ellie and Joel there, like, really, like, I think said a lot about how Ellie was so revenge driven, you know. She said she wanted to try to forgive him. And then she took her way that that uh Abby took away that like chance for her to help her to try to forgive him, you know. It's like, damn. Wow. I don't, I don't even know really what to say other than that like it's I thought it was great. I liked it a lot. I'm kind of just waiting out the credits if there's any post credit scene. I doubt that there is, but, you know, I don't think there was in the first one. I don't know, man. I think, I think both games kind of complement each other very well, actually, because, I don't know, it's just, you know, now when I kind of look back at the ending of the first game, it's like that's not just the ending anymore, you know? You know, there's obviously more to it than that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stew on that for a bit. But, um... Oh, I thought I said Bernie Sanders. <laughs> I'm gonna have to stew on that for a bit. But... I think it's... I think it's good. If I were to give it a score, I'd probably say, um, I think it's sitting at like a 9 out of 10, somewhere in there. I don't know. The only thing, again, as you've heard me complain about a whole lot throughout this series, aside from the water meter, is just like the kind of the overuse of flashbacks. Um, in recent stuff with, um, Uh, Neil Druckmann anyway because I think he did the I want to say he did the story for Uncharted 4 as well and you've heard me and Billy gripe on that game a lot the game itself is great but it's just the fact that like Neil Druckmann kind of takes a little bit too much time to like build up the backstory and stuff sometimes um, and I'm not saying I don't want him to do that at all because then it would just feel like a shallow type of thing, you know, like they don't really delve into it too much. 
but what ends up happening is just that, like, you know, sometimes it's kind of, it's very much kind of, like, further blurring the lines between, like, a movie-slash-TV show type of thing and a game, you know? Um, you know, not that that's necessarily a bad thing, because there's obviously games that I play or that I enjoy, like the Metal Gear Solid series, for example, that has a lot of long cutscenes, but I like those cutscenes. Like, I've kind of come to expect it with that game, you know? Or that series. <clears throat> In Uncharted, it's like... You know, short, intermittent cutscenes kind of furthering the characters and the plot, but then combat and stuff, you know, whatever. And in Uncharted 4, anyway, there was just a lot of, like, setup. Like, at the beginning of the game, there's, like, kind of, like, two flashback-type things that happen, and there's, like, several hours of gameplay until you're, like, actually into the proper story, you know what I mean? Bruce Straley for his instrumental role in the development of The Last of Us and his user contribution to all the Naughty Dog successes. Give it up for Bruce Straley, everybody. Love you, Bruce. So Abby was Laura Bailey, okay. And Jeffrey Wright is Isaac. He was in like two scenes in the whole game. Uh, where's Steve Bloom? There he is. I, I saw him. What is that? What's Downs? Downs? Where's Downs? Uh, Robin Eck and Downs. Yep. There he is. A lot of familiar names on that list. Nolan. I don't. I didn't see if Nolan North is in there. Um, I don't. I wonder if he did any for this at all. Canine motion capture, aww. Yeah, they did do motion capture on canines, that's good. Good on you for the sound design, too. You guys fucking knocked it out of the park. Great stuff. Environment artist, good, good on you guys too, man. I fucking kudos to everybody who worked on this game. <laughs> Shit. I don't know. This is. Uh, I'm kind of just soaking it in a little bit. But yeah, overall, I was down for the journey, and I'm glad I took it. It's a great game. Fantastic stuff. Um, and it took me about a. About a week to finish it. Like that's a really long game. It's a very, very long game. Surprisingly enough, uh, I don't know. Probably 24, 25 hours long, something like that. That's pretty good, I'd say, for a game like that of that style. Yeah. The only, like I did mention, the only big gripe that I have is the flashbacks. I just felt that there was a little bit too many of them. But at the same time, like certain things would have felt a little unexplained. Were were they not there? But I do think that some of it was a little bit on the padding side. Like the Wyoming Museum or whatever. Like that one was definitely a little bit on the padding end of the spectrum. Because there really wasn't a whole lot of uh, plot progression. Or f I mean, there was some foreshadowing, but that's pretty much it. You know? It's kind of like the last like little bit of innocence that we get to see her have, you know? Oh shit. Fucking Ashley singing. This world of woe. There is no sickness. I wonder if she had to like learn how to sing for this or something. Fancy, but beauty is fear. 
just before me Where God's redeemed Their vigils keep I like this. It's good. I just can't imagine myself personally having finished this game and being like uh, upset about like Joel being a quote unquote wasted character. I just remember seeing a headline of PewDiePie pissing and moaning about like the this game and everything, and it's like I don't know, man. Like I can't just imagine being that disappointed with it, you know. I don't know, I liked it. I thought it was good. Again, I don't know if it's on the same level as the first one story-wise. I think this, the first game... My, oh shit, here we go. I'm sorry, hold on. Troy, how do you do it, man? How do you do it, Troy? Like each individual at Sony Interactive Entertainment for their contribution, support, and dedication to the success of The Last of Us Part 2 is special recognition of the executive management team. Good on fucking everybody who had their hands in this game. It's incredible. I, I, I mean... I hope... <laughs> I hope everybody is mentally doing okay. I don't know who those people are. But I love your memory of those two. I'm hoping that... Um, the people who worked on this game and spent like the 70 hour work weeks, I, I hope you're doing well now <laughs> and because you guys like all of that hard work you put into the game like it shows, you know, it shows throughout all of it man. Ah shit. This duet thing, hell yeah, dude. Oh, I'm getting chills all over again at the ending of the game. Shit. Ah, oh. well. You don't need to hear me fucking blab on about shit. God damn. I, you know I'm going to be doing that. Absolutely. Let's take out... Um, wow. Yeah, dude. What I had to do. Fuck. You guys. Man. What, an, what a trip. What an experience Last of Us 2 has been. Let's check out the model viewer. Maybe we can get a couple of... Uh, cool things going on here. I did I did do the Rat King. I found out that it was the Rat King, actually. So, I was right. <laughs> um, yeah, dude, man, it's fucking good stuff. I don't know how many of these are actually worth... I mean, I don't know. I wish they had more unlockables, like in the first game, like costumes and shit. I don't really know if I care about any of these. Ooh, let's get the dog. Gotta get the dog. Oh, the dog. Isaac. J JJ the baby. <laughs> That's funny. The fuck is Gustavo? Is he the banjo man? Yeah, look at that fucking dude. <laughs> Alright. Didn't know he had a name. <laughs> That's funny. Seraphite Emily. Interesting. Chambler. They got two halves of the fucking Rat King. That's interesting. Um, yeah. You don't need to hear me blab on and on about this game anymore, right? Uh, shoot. How many encounters are there? There's a lot. Damn, dude. There's like a, f a whole buttfuck ton of them. That's a lot of encounters. They did a, a good job with that too. Like I'm just, you know, a lot of on the beach. 
I can't believe that that shot is the the intro of the game, like the title screen is the ending of the game. That's nuts. Uh, yeah, dude. Oh, cool. They got the stats too. Uh, trading cards, work benches, safes. Does it tell me each one individually? Oh, cool. Maybe I'll have to go back and do that. I wonder if I can do that like individually or something. Well, anyway. Um, thank you guys for watching. Whoever stuck out this whole fucking series anyway. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, I'm going to pack up and start editing all these freaking videos now. i got like a million of them to edit. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And um, we'll catch you later again for the uh, Billy and Taylor playthrough of this game, which will probably have already been uploaded a couple of episodes before this one even comes out. But thank you for watching. Um, I don't know how many other solo playthroughs we'll be doing in the future, but we'll see. Kind of play it by ear. Uh, have a good day and wear a fucking mask, goddammit.